Today is Friday, October 28, 2022. It's 2.16 p.m. I'm calling the Lapeer County um, Circuit Court to find out when I'm going to get my speedy trial that's over three years old. I'll bet you they're going to tell me that they don't have it scheduled. Watch. You've reached the 40th Circuit Court for Lapeer County. Our normal business hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. We are open through the lunch hours. Press 1 for Judge Holoka's I, criminal clerk. How do I press, press 2 one? for Judge Holoka's civil clerk. Press 3 for Judge Hodges' clerk. And press 5 for Judge... Circuit Court. Um, hi, who's this? Circuit Court. Ashley, how can I help you? Hi, Ashley. Um, I, uh... I'm acting as my own attorney on a case, and um, it's supposed to go to trial, and I haven't gotten any paperwork yet. Could you check for me? What's your last name? First name? You want the case number? No, sir, I found it. Uh, it's scheduled for a final pre-trial on February 3rd at 9.30, and then your trial date is February 14th at 9 a.m. They can't do that any more, any better than that, ma'am. This, uh, this has gone on for over three years. Three and a, it's, it's 38 months. I can't believe this. Sir? I, yes. Sir, that's when the trial date is set. Trial dates are set very far out as there is only limited availability ma'am this is three and a half this for bringing a jury 38, this is 38 okay. months old I'm not can you give me that information again ma'am okay february what your pre-trial is set for february 3rd at 9 30. when am i and gonna... your jury trial is set and your jury trial is set for february 14th at 9 a.m trial uh set for when again ma'am february 14th at 9 a.m Am. Okay, ma'am, um, Judge Holoka issued, I've been my own attorney for the last two and a half years, and Judge Holoka um, assigned attorney Fred Marsh as, or Fred um, Miller as my assistant. And um, I was supposed to go to court, I was supposed to have trial April 26th, and um, this thing's got botched up, and uh, when I, uh, I was supposed to attend court, and I, I had a I had a car problem when my car got blown up by the Secretary of State, and um, I couldn't make it to court. And I was in court on June thirteenth, and I had this court appointed assistant that was my assistant for two and a half years. And then he told me after after that court date on June thirteenth, he didn't show up, and uh, he told me that he was taken off the case. And I asked him who took who took him off the case and why. And he, he told, at first he wouldn't tell me, and then he told me it was Judge, Judge Holoka, and then he said it was the state of Michigan. And I need to know who, who told him, who fired him, and why, and I, I want to know, I want to see the, the paperwork. How do I do that? You can always come in and do your file. We're open uh, 8 no, I'm, in I'm, the morning I'm three and a half, I'm three and a half hours away, ma'am. I don't live in Lapeer County anymore. Okay. How, you can also view your file online. View, I can view my file online? Through MI Court. Am I? Yes, through MI Court. Um, can you tell me how to do that? You just Google MI Court, yeah. like Michigan Court. It's MI Court. And and you are you telling me that it will tell me why Fred Miller was taken off my case? You'll see every action that has happened on the case. Okay, and if I can't get it, if I can't get it, how do I find out? Because I'm being runner. This is I'm being jacked around, man. I'm 71 years old. This this case has gone on for three years and 16 days. That's okay, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sir, can I put you on hold for a moment, please? Yes. Thank you. Okay, sir. Yes. Okay, thanks for holding. I don't have any notation that Fred Miller was removed from the case. He was, ma'am. That's, that's the problem. I don't know what's going on. Ma'am, this isn't even legal. This th You can't okay, have... You're not letting me speak. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. going to hang up and no, you're not going do to speak. I don't have to. I don't have to take this. Ma'am, just understand. I'm 71 okay. years old. This thing's dragging out for three and a half years, and I've never been to court. I have never been to court. Do you understand? And you're that? not. You're not letting me speak. Go ahead. Uh, you're not letting me speak. It's Thank very you. stressful. I I'm don't sorry. show that. You're still not letting me speak. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I don't show that Fred Miller has been removed from this case. He received all the notices of when your final pretrial hearing and your jury trial date are. The only time Fred Miller's appearance was waived was when, when you were arraigned on your bench warrant. You waived court-appointed counsel at that time for that date. I was to set aside the bench warrant. And when was that, ma'am? Because I'm not sure what, what we're talking about. What, what, what? You had a motion hearing oh, on June 3rd correct. of this year. Wasn't that the 13th? Or to was recall it, the bench warrant. Was it? <laughs> or sorry, 13th. I'm the, so. yeah. It was the 13th. Right, and he wasn't there. So. Right, you waived your rights to be represented by counsel that day. I didn't waive so my rights. you right. were notified... I didn't wait. I did, on the record. No, no, no. What, what, um, Fred Miller was an assistant. I'm acting as my own attorney. I don't want, I don't want a court appointed attorney to represent me. He was, for two and a half years, he was my assistant. Um, and he was supposed to, Judge Holoka gave him to me to answer questions. And then all of a sudden he's off the case. And I didn't, I didn't. I'm not, I, and I'm telling you right now that he's not. So he's, he's not off the case. So he's still my assistant? Correct. He received all the same dates as you did. I haven't received any dates, ma'am. That's the problem. Are you did, when you're saying this? These dates in February. Well, am I supposed to have gotten those? Yes, and I show that notice went out to you. To, uh, I moved though, ma'am. Can you tell me what address you're using? Did you call the court to update your address? When yeah, you moved? Yes, I sure did. No, I already. I the last time I was in court. The last time I was in court, I had I had it done on the thirteenth. Okay. What is your new address? Um. <clears throat> And right. Yes, that's the address we have. I never got it. I, I, I can send you out new notice. Could you really? I really appreciate that. And I also, um, John Miller is has refused to give me evidence crucial to my defense. I uh, He has pictures. Have you, I've have you filed? Filed what? You, you don't ask. You, you filed the appropriate paperwork. I'm acting as my own attorney. And you're acting. And it's, and it's, it's. Yes, so then you need to file the appropriate paperwork and what, to request the demands. Okay, can you tell me what that is? Because I don't know. That's what Fred Miller is supposed to be doing. Because it's a, can I, I cannot because I can't give you any legal advice. Okay, so C Fred Miller is still on the case, so I can call him and get this information? Yes, you can. Okay, so he lied to me then, huh? I have no idea what your conversation was, sir. No, he told me that, that Judge Holoka took he First, he said I'm taking off, I was taken off the case. And then and I said, who did it? And, and he said uh, he said it was Judge Holoka. And I said, and I said well, when did this happen? And then he said, well, it was the state. And then, and then I asked him, well, I want paperwork. Tell me how this happened. And he hung up on me. So, so this guy, this is my court-appointed attorney. This guy's giving me sabotage. That's why I don't know anything. I'm being sabotaged by everybody under the sun. And um, could, could you tell me this, this uh, when you said to, to file paperwork to get his um, um, prosecutors, the prosecutor's evidence, file a what? I can't, I can't tell you what to file, sir. No, but you said file something. I said you would have to file something with the prosecutor's office demanding to have discovery. Demanding discovery. Okay, uh, okay, and is that and that's a form that I can? Can you, uh, can you tell me the uh, the uh, email address for the uh, court uh, forms for the state of Michigan? I don't. They don't have an email address. Or not email. The uh, website address. I'm sorry. If you Google "mi court forms," mi court, it will come up. Court is that one word then? Mi court form like that org. Just put in Michigan court forms. Michigan court form. Okay, I'll try checking that. And there's there any way, ma'am? I don't understand this. Judge Holoka and and, and uh, June said he was going to reschedule the, this trial as soon as possible. How how is Feb? Was there any? There there was no cases before February. That I'm being sabotaged. It's not fair, ma'am. I'm trying to act as my own attorney. I have a constitutional right to sir, do so. Sir. Yeah. Sir, the cases that are being scheduled right now are being scheduled for May. That is how booked up trial dates are. Yeah, but this was last. So this was six months ago. This was. You, you mean exactly? It? They are more than six months out. I I cannot continue this with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Everything is public online. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other questions regarding dates and times that you need to be here? I assure you, I will send you out new notice today. Okay, I appreciate that. Is there anything else that I can do for you? No, I'll try to figure this out myself. The problem is um, the Lapeer County judicial system is is in violation of the First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, Sixth Amendment, Seventh Amendment, Eighth Amendment, and the Fourteenth Amendment. All in this case. So how can they consider themselves a viable court that's that's trying me for uh, a false crime that I can't defend myself against? I haven't. I've never been in court. Honest to God, this is the truth, Ashley. I have never sat in court, and I've never heard 
the uh, the charges against me, and I've never been able to give uh, to present evidence crucial to my defense. This, this case needs to be dismissed, but I don't want to dismiss. I could dismiss this with prejudice right now because it's in violation of the Constitution, or rights of my constitutional rights of a speedy trial. But I want I want my trial because I I've been uh, abused by three criminal Elmont police that need to go to jail, and uh, John Miller uh, in June. He, he made me an offer that he, that he would dismiss this case and if I just if I move out of Michigan and I, I told him I want I want justice so this is what I've been given it get, gotten ever since and it's not really fair and it's not constitutional at all I don't understand how, how the Pierre County court system works at all it, you can't be in violation of seven amendments and and still be considered a viable court and that's what that's what's fr that's okay. what yes yeah, yes ma'am you you probably you, the day that you had your yeah Go ahead. The day that you had your opportunity, I understand that you have many reasons as to why you didn't appear that day. But unfortunately, that date in April was mm. your date and time for trial. Right. And, and uh, okay. mm -hmm. my car got sabotaged by the state, the Secretary of State. I, I understand that. You got that? I understand that you have reasons as to why you didn't appear. Right. I understand that. But I'm saying that was the date and time to appear for trial. Right. And John Miller. So now it has been set for a new trial. Right. And they, they're dragging it on because they can't win. They can't beat me. That's the problem. And, I, and I'm and i not an attorney, but I have a constitutional right to act as my own attorney, and I'm being sabotaged in every way possible. They, they uh, uh, I would have been there with bells on. The uh, Secretary of State, I've got an interlock device that blew up. This thing blew up, uh, has has sabotaged me ever since Ever since I had this thing installed. It's it's, it's failed six times, and uh, I, I'm, I'm battling with the Secretary of State over that. And they, they're... Uh, they keep this equipment is defective. It keeps blowing up. And and uh, I in July of 2021, it took a picture of me when when I wasn't even in the vehicle. And they called it failed a rolling retest. So I I, I had my license revoked for four months. And then that was that time. And then and then in uh, in uh, April. The, I, I moved uh, three hours, three and a half hours away, and I got up the next day, and the the the, the car was dead. And it took me 16 days to the, to, have, to have their the, this uh, uh, interlock company. Uh, uh, the, tech, the technicians figured it was finally dead after six times this thing failed, and it was finally dead. And um, I had I had to, I was without food or water for 16 days and this guy violated me this this uh, uh secretary of state violated me and he's claiming that i tampered with the equipment and i i uh, i have proof that i didn't he sent me this guy sends me pictures he said that i violated uh, i i missed a rolling retest in june of of last year of 2021 missed a rolling retest then he sends me pictures i'm not even in the vehicle and then this last time he said that i tampered with the equipment and then he shows me then he sends me he sends me evidence showing the equipment failing so I'm I'm being sabotaged by this guy, and and it's like he's working for you guys to sabotage this 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 uh, for uh, this is, this is going on four years, and I've never been to court. I've never been able to uh, say one word in my defense. This is like a hanging. This is uh, I'm a 71 year old disabled senior citizen. I don't deserve this. Uh, that uh, this car uh, this car is a nightmare, and uh, I'm being jacked around with the Secretary of State. This guy this guy told me he's uh, he he. Uh, uh, Accuse me of two uh, major felonies and or major violations. Then he sends me proof that I that I'm innocent, and uh, now I got to fight him in circuit Sir. court. Yes, ma'am. Sir, I understand. There, there is a lot to this. I know there's two sides to every story. There okay? is no. T there is no. I'm telling you when your court. Yeah. I'm telling you when your court date is. Right. For trial. Hopefully, I will still be alive. Prove your innocence in court. It's not. And I hope that for you too. But I cannot. I can't do anything over the phone about any of this. Okay. I've no, I, the thing is, the th these people. I, I will send you new notice. I really appreciate it. Do you, do you understand I'm being sabotaged? I will though? send you new notice, sir. I cannot comment okay, on anything. But the thing is, uh, the, I, I know this. Pro I know you're frustrated. John, I understand that it is a long way away. In, jo in June, uh, in, in June of I, in June in June of last year, John Miller told me he said he knows this is a phony case. He told me okay, he, he said, yeah, he said that. Sir, I, yeah, I had I have many many cases in front of me that need to be worked on today that all deserve my attention as well. Oh, I'm okay? 71 years I old, man. I can't take, I can't have I, too much. I will send you new notice. I, I cannot continue yeah. this conversation any further. I got you. Okay. I will send you new notice. Okay. I have your correct address. Mm -hmm. That is when your trial date is. Okay. Okay. I, it's not you. I'm sorry. I really okay. appreciate I have you. To go. Thank you, Ashley. Have a good weekend. Okay. Bye now. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I got my Nikon going. All right. I'm going to make the call now. Hope this goes easy. I'm tired of dealing with it. Yes. My current address is um, Yes, I do. no idea what happened um, this uh, their equipment their equipment uh, failed their equipment failed why, why don't you take a look at at the at the evidence sir in July they their equipment failed and took a picture of me when I wasn't in my vehicle for 15 minutes and you took my license away and, and said that I missed a rolling retest which is impossible if I wasn't in my vehicle for 15 minutes that was In April, their their equipment their equipment failed in July and they didn't replace it. It failed again in November and they they told me they were going to replace it and they didn't. The the thing failed again. I I moved on the ten, between the tenth and the eleventh. I moved and I drove that vehicle back and forth five hundred miles and without any problems whatsoever. I came home on the eleventh and. Um, and uh, I, I sh shut the vehicle off. I went in. I went to sleep, and um, I didn't drive the I didn't drive the vehicle uh, uh, that day at all. But I went the next day, and I tried to start it, and it was dead. The vehicle was dead, and uh, so I called I called Intoxilock, and they 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 didn't say anything about tampering. I didn't tamper with anything. I, don't, I have no idea where, the, where their equipment is, and I'm 18 months into a 12-month commitment. I've successfully completed 18 months and never tested one time. There is no violation. There is no violation. There was no power lock. Sir, take a look at, take a look at the... Take a look at your own evidence that you're sending me. Take a look. How, the thing, it, 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 how could it be disconnected? The thing, uh, here's what happened. Take a look at, please take a look at the notes. Take a look at. home to my new house 
at 7, 727 to, uh, the, uh, at 7.10 to take a rolling retest and I passed it. I went to sleep at 7, 727 a.m. I, I, I shut the engine off. I, I uh, passed I passed uh, successfully. And then two hours later at 941, which I, while I was sleeping, it said power off. I have no idea what that means. Then it says, then it says on, on 411, power on, which, 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 it was, which it wasn't on at all. And they, and, and they didn't get the thing working for 16 days. They were, I was talking to them every day and they were trying to figure it out. And uh, they finally, they told me that their equipment failed and they were, they were going to replace it. And they replaced it on, on uh, April 26th. And the... It's not my fault. That's there. That's. Uh, what am I supposed? I've got it. What do you What do you want me to show you? They They're the. I did. Why 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 don't you Why don't you read what I have no idea. Take. I wrote you a seventy five page letter and I sent you copies of it. Sir, this uh, this your this equipment failed. This company this company is, is is abusing taxpayers. Their equipment failed twice, and and, and uh, the first time I wasn't even in the vehicle, and you you accused me of of driving it uh, failing a rolling retest. Now you're saying that I tampered with the vehicle, and I wasn't even in the vehicle, and they they tried to they tried for 16 days to to. Uh, uh, you want to show? Want me to show you the the tow bill? They they tried for 16 days to get it to uh, to get it to work. Then they finally said the thing is dead, and they ordered a new a new unit. And uh, on the 26th, I had to have it towed, and they replaced the unit. And the thing's been working ever since. Two thousand nine. None. No. No. Um, I've got a case. I've got a case in Lapeer County that's gone on for three years that's going to trial. And on the 26th, I missed my trial date. And, and the prosecutor used it as an excuse to put a warrant out for my arrest, so this is another issue that I'm that I'm dealing with because of because of Intoxilox failure, equipment failure. I failed to appear because their equipment failed. I'm driving. I'm driving my vehicle, and I live in a public. I live in a. Uh, a uh, it's a private subdivision, and I drive it to keep the battery charged. I can't, I can't, uh, if I don't drive, then the battery is going to die, and, and, and uh, I, I can't, I'm, I'm not driving it illegally, I'm driving it in a, in a private subdivision, and I did, I, it's not my fault, you, you accused me, you falsely accused me of a capital crime that I, that I didn't commit, I didn't, I didn't tamper with anything, and I didn't, and the equipment failed in, the equipment failed last July, and they refused to replace it. They they, they told me in they told me in in uh, the thing failed in November, and they told me if I have it towed, they would replace the equipment. I had it towed; it cost me one hundred forty-five dollars to have it towed. They I got it there, and the 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 repair center said we don't know what you're talking about. We don't have the equipment here. I they promised me that that they would have it there. And and uh, and uh, I got there, and then they said, "We don't know what you're talking about." So all they did was charge up my battery, and I drove it home. And then the thing, the thing, they never fixed it, and then it failed again in April. And then they finally decided they admitted that it was their fault. If it was my fault, then they would have sued me. They they tried to get me to pay five hundred dollars 
they said, hey, look, it's not your fault. It's our fault, but uh, uh, what we want you to do is we want you to pay, go to have it uh, uh, replaced and pay $500, and then we'll reimburse you. But they owe me $960 in miscellaneous charges. They charged me, they charged me three payments. They're supposed to t take two payments bi-monthly. Bi they've taken out three payments three different times. They took out... They took out uh, two lockout fees, the $150. The, uh, they they just took out. They hear my. They you took my license away, and then they charged me three payments in May. I've got it all. I've got it all documented. It's 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 in tax a lot, and and it's it's abusing taxpayers, and and you people are responsible for monitoring and policing in tax lock, and they're a criminal organization. How could they owe me $960? And I can show you that, sir. Yes, sir. It's, uh, sir, sir. It's, it, I didn't touch it. I... It's all false. Their equipment failed. They replaced it. It had nothing to do with me tampering it with it. But if you take a look at the at the at at your own record, you'll see it's a, it's a start stop start stop start stop. Why don't you look at that? How could that be? It was the equipment failing. That's a, that. I, I want my license back. I would need my vehicle. You've taken uh, you've taken my vehicle away for eight months. Uh, so you're not going to tell me what you're going to do? So, is you, are you going to give me my license back or not, motherfucker? You fucking asshole. A 71-year-old disabled career tax-paying citizen to the state of Michigan. And um, in 2016, I tried to get my driver's license. Um, the state told me, too, that I had to pay $4,000 in driver's oversight fees on an incident that I had 21 years ago. And I couldn't afford it at the time. But the state of Michigan allowed me to buy, buy a car played it and insure it in 2016. And I thought I had uh, a job opportunity that I set up for myself in Florida. I had a, a, a buyer for my home and a chance to move to a warm climate on doctor's orders in 2016. I applied for my license. The state gave me a, gave me a license, but then they told me that I had to pay $4,000 in 21 year old driver's oversight fees that two years later, they rescinded those uh, charges and called them parasitic uh, on taxpayers, but that was too late because at that at that point I couldn't I couldn't pay the the uh, the fee, and so I tried to get help from the state of Michigan. I thought maybe someone would be able to help me take my job offer and give me freedom. Uh, this is an old charge, and um, I didn't mind having an interlock device for for a year because I hadn't drank in years, so it was no problem. But the problem was is they made they they hit me with a four thousand dollar fee that I couldn't pay. So that was in in uh, late two thousand sixteen, August of two thousand sixteen. When and when I couldn't afford that payment, I went to the Lapeer County Department of Health and Human Services and applied for benefits. And uh, that was in uh, September after being. Uh, uh, turned down so I couldn't drive my vehicle. And um, what the secretary, the uh, Lapeer County DHHS did to me in um, three months, uh, just uh, they they destroyed my home, causing $15,000 worth of damage. And they, they uh, signed me up for, they committed me to Social Security Part B uh, against my will and, and uh, over my objections. And I never signed for it. That cost me uh, over fifteen thousand dollars years. Or I'm sorry, twelve thousand dollars year to date, and um, fifteen thousand dollars worth of damage to my house. They did twenty-seven thousand dollars worth of damage to my income and my house within three months, and then they left me without running water for over two and a half years. And then in the meantime, uh, 
when I was out of water for drinking water for over five days, I and uh, in in September of 2019, I tried to drive my vehicle to get water, um, and the Elmont police, who had a grudge against me for making complaints against Lapeer County employees, had set a trap for me and were stalking me because Lapeer County. 911 told them that I they I called them the day before begging for drinking water because I was out of drinking water for over five days and delusional. So they were waiting right across the street. They they jumped me. Uh, they were stalking me. I, did, I had no idea. I, I tried to drive my vehicle without my license and I didn't even get a block. I didn't even get in on onto. Uh, I was on a private um, a private uh, roadway in my subdivision and I wasn't even on a public road so they were stalking me and arrested me for no legal reason when they knew that I was in a crisis so that 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 dragged down and that's why I have over 160 evidence videos on my YouTube channel Elmont senior that got me into all this trouble with you know, all, all I want is was uh, I'm disabled I need a vehicle to in a six month cold climate I need a vehicle I need a vehicle to work to to uh, to work be able to work to get food and get medical attention and they're depriving me of simple simple uh, uh, necessities of life and they're making it a profit center and they, and that's why they're they're doing every way everything possible to sabotage me and here it is uh that was in 2016 and early 2017 and here i am in 2022 still trying to resolve the same issues with the secretary of state who now they, they're falsely accusing me of sabotaging my my own vehicle and uh and and being and the secretary of state is helping lapeer corrupt lapeer county by dragging on my over three year speedy trial and uh here here they they just dragged this on because because of the the uh secretary of state blew up my car for a second time that was in april and here it is four months later and they dragged it out and i still don't know i i have no date for my jury when my jury trial starts and it was supposed to start on april 26th but of 2022 but my vehicle was in the shop having my intoxilock breathalyzer uh defective breathalyzer finally replaced so that's where we're at now and um that's just a heads up of what's going on so back to the show bye